Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, of course, please subscribe. If you're a returning viewer, of course, leave a like as usual. And of course, leave a comment down below, especially if you're new, so I know who you are. Um, we're still in a target to the 1618, although, yes, we did close below the one fib level yesterday. Do you remember? Yesterday, I told you that we were feeling some sort of support, and that is why we went back to the 55. But I told you it would be right in saying that we're now going to get a reaction from resistance because we went through it and, you know, we're feeling it, we're touching it. We should always expect a reaction. Every time we touch a support or a resistance, or we're super, super close to it, we should expect a reaction. It's better if we wait for it to touch, but we can see here it didn't touch, but felt it. Here it slightly missed it. And here with the supports, it did not touch it. So once we do actually come to it, we're gonna get a reaction from it. Will that be in the short term? Or will that reaction from this, this 20 EMA, which we have not hit yet, we felt it and pushed us up to the 55 and confirmed that as resistance. So this is resistance. The 55 EMA is resistance. What that is actually saying, just like this over here, is saying that we should actually make a lower low below 17K. And on this attempt, it failed to do that. Even with the bears stepping in at the 55 uh, daily EMA, this orange line, they stepped in here saying, Saying, no, we're going to take power again. We are in a downtrend. This is what the 55 EMA being resistance, being confirmed as resistance means. It means downtrend. It means we should make a lower low, lower than 17K. We should go to 14K. We should go to 12K. We should go to 10K. We should go to 8K. That's what this EMA rejection is telling us. But did you go and do that? No. Did we put in a lower low with that? No, you put in a higher low. So this is why I keep telling you guys, as long as we're above this low, which is about 20.6K, 20.7K, but I'm not telling you guys 20.7K. I'm telling you guys 20.2K. This is the golden pocket, a level that we should have never broken above in the first place if the bears were truly here. And then after that, the bears had their opportunities to show that they are truly here, even right now with this this is an opportunity to show us the bears are here they're gonna make us put in a lower low but there's zero signs of that just because this has got rejections to the top which is of course bearish what is bearish what is the term bearish well it means downtrend and what is a downtrend by the terms by the definition it means uh, lower lows and lower highs so that means that this low if this is a downtrend that we should actually go lower than this so if it's not a downtrend we will not go lower than this so if this truly was a downtrend with all this rejection telling us that the fact that we lost the 20 over here if this is truly a downtrend as these two um uh, as these two things are confirming that it is by by respecting this as resistance and losing this as support to continue this downtrend. Did you put in that lower low, lower than this low? No, so it's not a downtrend, it's an uptrend from the 18th of June. So <clears throat> once we lose this 20.2K support, then you're still not bearish. That means you're in the short term gonna come back down, but you're still not bearish. You need to come down and lose this low. As long as we're above this low, all the bears, you can F off. I don't care if you're in the comments, oh, Louis, TA doesn't work. How How is I able to call all of this then? If TA doesn't work, how was I meant to call that 25.8K target and then we had that bounce? How was I able to call that 17.7K target? We went down $100 more. How, how was I able to call that when I have people in the comments saying, Louis, please just stop. TA doesn't work, okay? <laughs> There's so many idiots out here. It's hilarious. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the haters. They're absolute idiots. It just tells me you don't know anything about this when you say shit like that. TA doesn't work. Okay, how have I been doing this for three years then? What, just luck? How was I, well, if I'm lucky, then how, how was I able to sell 50% at 39K when you were dumb enough to think that I was still going up back then? And I knew that I was going down. But no, everyone was saying, no, we're going up, we're going up, we're going up. And I was one of the only ones saying, no, we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. I sold 50%. And most of you didn't want to believe me. And I remember with Corn saying, Corn is going to go down to $70 all the way up at 150 I was saying that. The amount of trolls. So it's the same people trolling then. And they are, and the same people are trolling now. So I don't know how the same people are saying the same stuff when they've seen all of these moves that we've been calling on the channel. So if you appreciate all of that, please leave a like and of course comment down below 
And if you're new to the channel, of course, subscribe. But there's not much more to say other than we do anticipate that we go down. We've been saying it for the last few days. More, There's more uh, in-depth videos over the last three days, four days, since I've basically been back from holiday. And the first video was about Saturday or Sunday, I think it was. But, um, <clears throat> uh, but uh, Sunday, sorry. But I think, uh, yeah. What we're doing is we're trapped between the 55 and the 20, as we said yesterday. We're anticipating this reaction. We've just explained the bearish scenarios where we can still come down to this low. Just need to hold it. And even if you do lose it, you can come down to this low and you're still bullish. It's just this would be like a an early sign. Yes, potentially we could go down and lose that low. But for me to 100% be confident we are going lower than 17K, we have to go down and lose this wick, 18.6K. If you're not losing that wick, which at the moment we're not, we're just running into resistance to make a higher low to continue. That's what I'm viewing in my eyes. I think that this is just going to be a higher low. And the reason is because we created the reverse wave, which we shouldn't have. This was the impulse. This was the correction. And this is what should have happened. Continuation. Did we do that over here when we came down? No, you put in the higher low. We got above the golden pocket and lost it. And we confirmed it as resistance. That means we should go lower. Did we go lower? No. Okay. No. Bears. Just... Look at the chart, you idiot bears. Look at the chart. Look at the chart. Use your eyes, idiot bears. Idiot bears. Low, higher low, higher low. Okay? Once we lose them, I will join you. Until then, you're all idiots. And I'm talking to the bears only. Thank you, guys. Please like, please subscribe and comment. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.